Meantime, speaking of leaders, Joe Biden's numbers today, just dreadful. My goodness. Um, The latest poll, uh, this is in USA Today, his approval rating Biden's has sunk to 38 percent. Independents say Biden's doing worse than expected by a seven to one margin, seven to one. Um, And then Kamala Harris, even worse. She's got an approval rating of 28 percent, Joe Pags. San Francisco Gate, not exactly a conservative rag, calls it a comically bad approval rating. Uh, worse than every single vice president going back through Gore in 2000. So both of them in the in the in the basement when it comes to these approval ratings. Can they turn that around with their big, 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 big better bill? <laughs> <laughs> It's, if you could do alliteration, then you can build back anything, <laughs> Megan. Uh, it, what's, uh, what's interesting about this is the American people aren't stupid. Uh, they really aren't. And I think the left many times thinks that we are stupid. Um, Joe Biden is a shell of the guy we used to know. Joe Biden's not running the thing. It's probably Ron Klain. It might be Obama. It could be Valerie Jarrett. It's not Joe Biden. And the American people see that. When when the big news of the week is that he passed wind too long and too loudly in front of, uh, you know, the, the Duchess of something, of, of, of uh, no. uh, Windsor or Canberry or I, I don't know what she's the Duchess of. When, when that's the big news of the day and he might have had an accident with the Pope, not substantiated, who knows? What? Um, there, there's a problem here. No, you didn't hear that, that he might no. have had an accident with the Pope? Oh, yeah. No, you mean look, like a look, bathroom look accident? Yeah, oh he might have oh had he might have had an issue. So <laughs> when that's what's being talked about and that he's falling asleep at the climate summit and that he can't get through a sentence without losing his place and he can't stop saying they told me who I have to call on in this mm-hmm. press conference and I can't mm-hmm. answer your questions or I might get in trouble. People aren't going to support that person. And when it comes to Kamala Harris, she's just non-existent. I don't know what she's doing other than asking about tree equity in black neighborhoods. It's very, very mm-hmm. strange. Uh, she claims to have gone to the border. She's the person in charge of the border. She didn't go to the border. She went to El Paso, went nine miles away from the border, and then got on a plane and went to L.A. So I think people see what this administration is really all about. It's all about individual fiefdoms in the administration. There really is no leader in Joe Biden. And Kamala Harris was chosen because she had pictures of somebody or something, because even her own party didn't want her to be in the White House yeah. or in, in the second position. So we're seeing, I think, when, when you've got USA Today in Suffolk saying that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris suck, that's a big deal. This isn't, you know, some right wing outlet. Yeah. They've gone hard left and nobody elected them to do that. And the American public tried to send them a message last Tuesday, which no one seems to want to listen to. And you have people like James Carville speaking out about what the message was. You get twits like AOC saying, yeah, don't say that to people under 45. (laughs) Um, Well, guess what? He's not just like her there. (laughs) <laughs> and, and he knows a lot more than she does about how to win a, a district. Right. Give me a break. She's got like a, a paper box could win in her district, as Nancy Pelosi Agreed. once said, as long as they had a D after their name. Um, mm-hmm. OK, so it doesn't look so great for Joe Biden. Uh, the majority of people don't want him to run for a second term. We did that poll the other day. They certainly don't want Kamala Harris to run. She's not she's not capable of winning. And so there's been apparently some buzz that perhaps Pete Buttigieg The transportation secretary will somehow be drafted in to take on who knows Trump DeSantis remains to be seen Pompeo. Um, So Pete Buttigieg, just for a flavor of what we would be getting, um, this is where his priorities are. He was asked by April Ryan, White House press secretary or White House um, correspondent uh, about the infrastructure plan that was just passed and the priority of addressing our racist roads. Listen to this, Joe Peggs. Secretary Mayor Pete, um, could you give us um, the breakdown of the implementation of Justice 40 with the infrastructure package that's now passed and signed into law? And also, um, can you give us the construct of how you will deconstruct the racism that was built into the roadways that you talked to the Grio earlier when you broke that information with us? Can you talk to us about how that could be deconstructed. I'm still surprised that some people were surprised when I pointed to the fact that uh, if a highway was built for the purpose of dividing a white and a black neighborhood, 
or if an underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying mostly black and Puerto Rican kids uh, to a beach, or that would have been, uh, in New York was, was designed uh, too low for it to pass by, but that obviously reflects racism that went into those design choices. Um, I don't think we have anything to lose by confronting that simple reality, and I think we have everything to gain by acknowledging it and then dealing with it, which is why the reconnecting communities, that billion dollars, is something we want to get to work right away, uh, uh, putting to work. <laughs> so, Come on, so she she wants, but first of all, that's a new thing. Secretary or mayor, Secretary Mayor Pete, <laughs> discuss the construct of how you will deconstruct the racist roads, and he's all in. Well, at that point, she's just making words up. And uh, if I say them together, nobody's going to call me out because it sounds smart, even though it's not. Um, <laughs> what's interesting is uh, Pete Buttigieg wants me to believe, and wants you to believe, wants your audience to believe, that we were measuring overpasses, and then we would go and measure the black and Puerto Rican buses as if that exists. And then we could say, well, if we make the overpass a few inches shorter than the bus, that we, we can keep these people away from the beach. And let's build a highway, not to better help people transport from one place to the other. We'll build the highway to divide neighborhoods because there was no division of neighborhoods before highways happened and the fact that april ryan is allowed to ask a question of anybody and that question to pete Buttigieg wasn't where the hell were you for two months yes. that wasn't the question right. or what what's going on with the supply chain that wasn't the question or or did you really jump out of an suv and jump on a bike and then ride the bike somewhere we saw a partial video of something like that no no the question is mayor pete Ma- mayor secretary pete why are we so racist I mean, I don't get it, Megan. I don't understand. There are literally people in this country riding around neighborhood to neighborhood, counting the number of trees, and then and then finding out the percentage of the demographic and saying, "Oh my God, they're just there are four trees fewer here than there was in the white neighborhood." Racist. Yeah, that's what they're that- doing. It's it's stunning, isn't it? <laughs> 